Tonight, developing news out of Washington, D.C. reports that President Trump shared highly classified information with the Russians. This latest report, another blow to a White House already dealing with a fallout from the firing of the FBI director. CBS reporter Weijia Zhang is live at the White House. Weijia, what information did the president allegedly give the Russians? What do we know about this? Well, Ken, a former intelligence official who is in touch with current officials tells CBS News the president talked about something, quote, inappropriate during that meeting last week with Russian leaders. But tonight, the senior administration officials are insisting that at no time were intelligence sources or intelligence uh, uh, methods discussed during that meeting. The Washington Post is reporting President Trump revealed highly classified information to Russia's foreign minister and ambassador to the U.S. at the White House last week. The paper says the classified information had to do with an ISIS terror threat against airplanes. According to the Washington Post, the president went off script and began describing details about an Islamic State terrorist threat related to the use of laptop computers on aircraft. There's nothing that the president takes more seriously than the, the security of the American people. The story that came out tonight, as reported, is false. Two other senior officials who were present, including the secretary of state, remember the meeting the same way and have said so. Their on the record account should outweigh those of anonymous sources. And I, I was in the room, it didn't happen. The information the president shared reportedly came from a U.S. ally and was considered so sensitive that it had not been shared with other countries. The suggestion that he might have shared highly classified information inappropriately uh, with the Russian foreign minister uh, is deeply troubling, particularly at a time when we have so many other challenges facing us internationally and domestically. The information was allegedly shared during the meeting the U.S. press was denied to entry last Wednesday, while the Russian government press was allowed in. The Russian news agency provided these photos. And you just heard it from H.R. McMaster. He actually stood right here outside the White House, ending his comments again, insisting that he was inside that room and the alleged sharing of classified information simply did not happen. Ken? We just, as we mentioned, uh, this comes at an already tense time for the Trump administration as it tries to find a new FBI director. Where does that search stand tonight? Well, so far, the administration has interviewed eight candidates, and today the president himself said the process is moving rapidly. He could make a decision by the end of the week, but it's not just up to him because the Senate has to approve it. And lawmakers from both parties, especially Democrats, say they won't approve anyone unless there is a special prosecutor to lead all this uh, information, all the investigations into Russia. Weijia Jang, live at the uh, White House for us tonight. Thank you, Weijia.